everyone, I'm Zoe, and today I'm gonna show you how to paint a mini landscape with wash. Today we're gonna use mixed media art paper from Stratmore, Brinton's brushes, and gouache from May Mary. Okay, let's get started. Here I had divided the paper into four equal spaces, which is two times six inches and I use the paper tape to cover the border. Here I'm doing some very light sketch for the cherry blossom painting. You don't have to worry about the detail at this stage because we're gonna use a gouache to cover everything. For the sky, I'm going to use the sky blue, some white, and a little bit of violet. Now I'm going to mix a little blue with a lot of white to create a sky blue. And also get a little bit of violet to turn the blue down. You want to mix the wash with a little bit of water until you reach the consistency of melted ice cream. So it's gonna go smoothly on the paper like this. We're gonna wait until the first layer get dry and add the second layer. This one gonna be more lighter because I want to create a little texture for the skies. Uh, I don't want the sky looks so bland and just blue. I want to add a little more white so it's kind of look like the clouds on the sky. Now we're gonna start to paint the flower. For the first layer, I'm going to mix the white with a little bit touch of black and blue so to make it look a little more dark and we're going to add the highlight layer on top. At this stage, if you don't see your sketch anymore, you can just estimate the shape of the flower by adding at least 5 or 6 bits of each flower and try to make the shape as round as much as you can. Here I'm using very basic technique to create a cherry blossom so you don't have to worry about at this point your flower doesn't look so round and doesn't look that good. We're gonna add a couple of layers on top later. Remember let the first layer completely dry before you add the second layer. For the second layer we just use pour white and add more water into it so that we're gonna have a creamy consistency to create a highlight for the petals. Use the same color to create a little flowers and on the top of the tree. Now I'm using yellow ochre to paint the pistols. Next, I mix some viridian green with brown to create the shape of the branch. Um, remember, the branch will get smaller to the top and get bigger to the bottom. Now I'm using the pour white and add no water to create the highlight of on top of the highlight petals that we already made. 
This step will refine the shape of the petals and also the flower. Remember, keep the gray area of the flower. That is our shadow area, so we don't use this way to cover everything. Last step is using viridian green to add a little leaf on the branch. You can mix viridian green with a little yellow or white to create a different shade of green. So it's gonna make our painting look more looks more dynamic. And the last steps, I'm gonna use the orange to add a little dot inside the pistols. This is I call the magic touch. It's gonna make our flower more dynamic and prettier. And okay, this is final painting. I hope you're gonna enjoy this and I'm gonna see you for the next video. Thank you and bye bye.